Welcome back, everyone. You are enjoying another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you by Tale of Two Hygienists in partnership with Elevate Oral Care. And now, please welcome your host, Tom Viola. Hi, I'm Tom Viola, a certified pharmacist, dental educator, and author. Stick with me, and I promise to make the next few minutes the best pharmacology learning experience you've ever had. Hello, everyone. Tom Viola here from Pharmacology Declassified. We had another Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition. Well, this edition's all about fluoride. Stannous fluoride, sodium fluoride. What's the difference? Okay, well, first off, let's talk about fluoride. Fluoride, like any other pharmacologic agent, has a dose response. That means the higher the dose and the more times you apply it, the better it works. So you could say, for example, that a 1,000 part per million fluoride product that's available over the counter probably doesn't work as well as a 5,000 parts per million product that's available by prescription. But then again, the more it's applied, the better it's going to work. Okay, what else about fluoride? Well, there's many mineralization products out there, and they contain calcium and phosphate. But okay, there's no doubt that calcium and phosphate are necessary building blocks to mineralize our teeth. In fact, teeth are made mostly of calcium and phosphorus. Okay, so when calcium and phosphate are necessary, it's normally supplied in ample quantities by our saliva. Okay, we get it from our diet, it gets into our saliva. So really, we don't really need supplementation of calcium and phosphate. It's only when your patient has a significantly dry mouth or reduced minerals in their saliva, maybe due to some type of disease or some type of change to their nutrition, only then will they really truly benefit from a calcium and phosphate uh, additive in a product. Okay, now keep in mind, if your product's going to have calcium and fluoride in it, well, they need to keep be kept separate from each other, right? Because if a tube were to contain fluoride and calcium and water, well, that means you're going to form calcium fluoride. And that whole thing will become ineffective before it even gets used and even applied to your teeth. Well, what about status? Well, if you ask any hygienist what status does, they'll probably tell you it stains. Rightfully so, I've seen it myself. But that's only really partially true. Status fluoride is too large a molecule to actually stain the tooth itself. It'll stain the plaque and the calculus build up on the tooth surface. So that means what? Well, then if you just brushed well, you wouldn't have that staining. But then again, if you brushed well, you wouldn't need the status to begin with. So that's a good uh, teaching moment for your patients. Brush well, you won't need the stannous, therefore you won't get the stain. Okay, but when would you use stannous over sodium? Well, then that begs another question. Are you trying to deal with caries only? Are you trying to deal with both caries and gingivitis, maybe even some periodontal involvement? If it's caries only, we tend to use sodium fluoride products. But if there's any gingival involvement, we tend to use a stannous fluoride product. Stannous fluoride has antimicrobial properties and astringent properties that sodium fluoride does not. Stannous kills many different bacteria associated with both gingivitis and oral malodor and even periodontal disease. And the best part is it causes the blood vessels at the surface of the gingiva to actually contract and that helps reduce swelling. But I think one of the best parts about stannous fluoride is it's not water soluble, meaning you don't have to worry about the uh, dreaded don't eat or drink for 30 minutes after application doesn't apply here. So patients can eat or drink immediately and still benefit up to eight hours of antimicrobial therapy. Well, thank you, my friends, for joining me for yet this uh, latest edition of Fast Facts Pharmacology. My name is Tom Viola. Stay well. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to hear more from me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or visit my website at www.tomviola.com. Thank you for listening to another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you in part by Elevate Oral Care, creators of the innovative and proven prevention-focused oral care products from Advantage Arrest Silver Diamine Fluoride to Fluoromax Sodium Fluoride Varnish. Learn more by visiting www.elevateoralcare.com and schedule your free CE staff meeting today. We'll see you next time for another Fast Facts.